Welcome back guys to another video on Kerbal Space Program. Now I was searching through the forums on Kerbal Space Program and uh, one of the game developers, I think he is a game developer known as Harvester, uh, showed a few designs on jets. So um, I started off like with his design and I, uh, I moved into using my own design. So this is what I came up with. Um, it's just got temperature engine, parachute tier, you know, the small gear bays there, there, um, the avionics package, aerodynamic nose thing, whatever you call that one. We got NCS adapter. Mm. Yeah, so it's pretty good. Uh, Harvester's design was completely different to this, but I sort of got the idea from him. So I just left the name its actual name like that, that that's the actual name and I just left it as like Mark 1 so that's okay and I do have a Mark 2 version which is a bit different and weird this is like a, a mini aircraft and I actually have to go to the end of the runway <laughs> in order to lift up with this thing because the lift rating is not good I could I could fix that but I didn't and I'm just holding down S as you can see in bottom left corner see that the wings and it does go perfectly straight which is excellent T. so that's good now that turn turning is good we have some weird guys along with us here today Samdo Jed Fred? What? Jed Fred. Rod Frod. What? What's with, what's with these names today? Hmm. So, we'll test out the landing. Um, the landing, sh I'm sure, will be fine. Anyone can land this thing. As, as long as I don't do anything stupid. Okay, why did I click RCS on? I have RCS. Turn off the engines, don't need them. We can glide our way. I think this is a glider. We'll test it out now. And we can fast forward to times two. Still dangerous. Oh, okay, not bad. Hold down B. I can just hold down B straight off. That's nice. And we still have quite a bit of fuel. So we'll test this again and do something funny. We're going to go as fast as we can with this aircraft and then deploy the parachutes because we have two of those strong parachutes. Actually, I don't know if we'll be able to lift up. Ah, so you need to go about 150 meters per second to lift up. So I'm going to concentrate on going straight up. Or almost straight up. Just enough to control the aircraft when in need. more faster it goes the more dangerous more chance something falls off and uh... spoiler alert i think in the next update they will you know if you don't want to hear this you know mute your headphones or whatever it is um, i think they are going to introduce like solar panels for you know your satellites or any other creation that goes into space which is cool they should have done that a while ago but I, I know they did that in mods which is a good thing mods are, there are some really cool in, cool mods in this game and uh... the terrain details in the next update will change again apparently they're introducing cacti to the game so that's funny and i don't know which place is actual desert if you look here Okay, probably this is this will be the desert, because the cacti are only in deserts, uh, from what I saw, could see. Okay, so we're gonna do this. This is gonna be fun. Uh, great, it's slowing down. That's okay. Higher resistance, more damage. Even going straight down won't help. Okay, three, two. Oof. 
Any time now. Poof. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, here it is. <laughs> well, that's cool. 2.5 meters per second. That is pretty slow. I have an idea. I'm not sure if it's true. But if I have eight of these big parachutes on just this part, how fast will it be going down? You know, is there a point where it will be going down zero meters per second? Right? I think the wheels are still spinning. I can't control this either because the guy is dead. Our guys that we had aboard. Hello, well, next part. Here it is, more of a similar design. And I'm just looking at uh, Harvester's design now. Actual design on the website, on the forum. He had some cool ones. There's one called KRJ100. Looks interesting. I think I have created something similar. His one looks good, but... Uh. But anyway, uh, th yeah, this is more similar, if more similar, to... Uh, Harvester's KRJ400 jetliner, right? But except um, on Harvester's design, he actually had he had these. He had two of these, and then he had the uh, like tail fin. Some he had this, then the tail fin, like that, something like that. But the wings were a bit different too. His ones were a bit more thin actually from the image. But anyway. You know, I don't want to use his design because, you know, it might disappoint people or get people angry. You know, people are like, sometimes it's crazy. Uh, oh, yeah. And if you're going to be on the forum, be careful. They're a bit strict, actually. Uh, your your messages actually get filtered. Someone, I think someone actually looks at your messages. Yeah. And I did something which wasn't really following the policy rules. Sort of. Uh, it said... I didn't really read it, but I saw a whole lot of comments with images, and I didn't really have any images, you know, uh, available at the time to upload because um, the page, what is it called, the uh, thread that was on, said only images, just images, didn't have an image, so I just put it a a video, the UFO video that I made, which had an image because it had like a, a little image of the UFO which linked to the video which is still worked, it's technically an image and that was also promoting the YouTube channel so people can actually see the designs because I've made a whole heap of the designs and not many people actually will see it I mean you know I do have some good good subscribers I have to admit some dedicated ones like what uh... which one? I don't remember the name I don't remember the name <laughs> Wait, I think the guy's name is Newbury. No, he's not that active on the uh, YouTube channel. There's another guy. Completely forgot his name. Back to this design. Yeah. So, yeah, two en wait, four engines, which is a lot, but we're still not going that fast. Maybe if I go straight up into the atmosphere. Oh, we're fast forwarding. That seems like it works. What happens if you click T? That's dangerous. It's gonna smash to pieces probably. We went fast forward it. It still looks looks like it's gonna smash to pieces without fast forwarding. <laughs> and these wheels, man. These wheels are weird. Why are they still spinning? Do they even do that in real life? Is this one Is that spinning? No, it doesn't look like it looks like it stops spinning after after you close it up. But then when you open it, look at the animation. No, it stops completely. Oh, okay. So it seems like as soon as you start flying, the wheels just stay, keep on spinning forever, as long as you don't uh, retract them. So right now I'm just trying to get this ship level. Oh yeah, we are going quite fast. Ooh, it's going crazy. Not good. Whoa. Oh no. 
Oh, uh, great. No, I'm just holding down W right now. T. No, we want the nose to be right there where it is now. Okay, this is a perfect positioning. Which way are we going? I don't think I've been this way before. Well, not, I've only been this way to find Easter eggs. Kind of find the Easter egg. Pretty hard to find. And here it goes. So the apple apsis, we're falling. Oh yeah, we are falling. <laughs> so uh, I have to manually control this. Oh yeah, and that means we went we went quite high into the atmosphere. The lift rating here is really bad. It's got a really bad lift rating. Damn. Here we go. It's fixing up itself. Come on, you can do it. Give it a bit of incentive. Ooh, 600 meters per second. Oh, here we are. <laughs> here we got. 700? Give me a 7. No, it's not going to make it. Because we are too low in the atmosphere. As soon as we hit this uh, light blue zone, that wrecks it. Sad. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Well, this thing definitely would have reached 700 meters per second. Guaranteed. Maybe 750? It's a possibility. But we're going to try landing. Nose down. G. G for good. Engines should start heating up. It's quite weird. Um, if you have like a really heavy aircraft and you only have one engine. So for this aircraft, if I had the fuel wasted. <laughs> yeah, for this aircraft, if I only had one engine and I put place to like back here and then I was going straight up in the atmosphere then the engine would start going yellowish. So if, you, if you've been to uh, Moho, you will know that this even also happens with rocket engines, how they start going yellow because they start to superheat and melt and then explode. Uh, bang. I don't want to smash this, that will sound horrible. And I think that is the last design for this this type of yes it is. So thanks for watching. Hope you like uh, Harvester's remixed design. Hope he doesn't mind that I've remixed it. I'm sure he will. <laughs> It'll be fine. It does look weird from above. Hmm. Not the weirdest design. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye -bye.